Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com and in this video, I wanna compare System.io versus WordPress. Now, I do get this question asked a lot, which one is better to use? Which one should these people get started with? So what I wanna do is sort of break down exactly the differences between them. Just to let you know, I've been using WordPress for about 10 years now and I've been using System.io for about two. So I've had a, a copious amount of experience in both of these platforms and I've really just pulled together all of my knowledge all of my sort of past all the things I've learned with these two platforms and I've put together the pros and cons to both of them and there is quite a big list so I've dumbed it down to really the most important so I'm not going to mess around what I'm going to do is go straight into this comparison but just before I do if you're thinking about getting started with system I have got a bonus course that I give away to referrals if you want to check it out it's down below so make sure you go have a look at that there's also some bonus resources things I give away for free in the description as well so let's go ahead and get started so just to let you know right off the bat my actual thoughts the pros and cons between both I've created just this little tiny sheet here right just to really give you an idea of the overview looking from a 10,000 foot pole I believe that's the thing something like that anyway so let's have a look first of all at system system is extremely affordable in fact it's so affordable it's free to get started it's ridiculous considering the amount of things you get for it so keep that in consideration depending on which level you're at in business this may have a big effect it's also self-hosted what this means is you can join the platform you don't have to pay a fee and you can create websites right so that's a really big key factor which we'll go into versus wordpress later on the next one is it's not just a website builder it's also a full suite of marketing tools we're talking funnel builders we're talking email marketing we're talking automated webinars if you're on the right plan we're talking automation there's so many different things inside of there things like communities you can sell products it's incredible the amount of value you get from system.io once again considering the price point that it's in and then finally it is a drag and drop editor so you can of course visually create your um, pages and your um, funnels and websites everything like that using a drag and drop editor now compare that to wordpress so keep in mind these four things i've broken it down as simple as possible inside of wordpress there is literally unlimited customizations and the reason you can do that is because you have thousands of themes thousands of plugins now there is also endless integrations and integrations is a massive one of wordpress versus system.io reason being system is sort of like a one-stop shop it's not really been created to integrate with other platforms Whereas WordPress is almost like an open source software, which will integrate with pretty much anything with an API. It's really, really powerful. Now with WordPress, once again, you can build sites to however you want. Your, your imagination is literally the as far as you can build a website, right? The sky is the limit to what you can actually do with it, whether it's, you know, different types of e-commerce stores. It could be a membership course platform. It could be a funnel platform. It could be a blog. It could be anything, right? Anything for business, anything for personal. WordPress is crazy functional. Now there's also thousands of themes inside a system. I believe there's between nine and 12 and there's literally thousands uh, on the internet for WordPress. It's been around for a very long time. So you've got more than enough to find something that suits you. And the same thing goes for plugins, right? Thousands and thousands, probably tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of plugins. So you can adapt WordPress how you want it to look and feel. Now there's also millions of tutorials as there are over 810 million websites using WordPress. Like, let's soak that in for a second. So WordPress is not just a simple code. It's something that a lot of people are using. And then finally, it is an open source software. Basically what this means is you can install it on your computer and you can open your website and modify it on your computer locally, or you can put it on a VPS or cloud hosting and you can let the world see it. And you can also download all of your data and delete it, right? So it's something that you can get for free, install it to a server, and then it can be seen by the world. Whereas in system, only system can recognize system websites or formats. So you can't download it and upload it to another platform, say like ClickFunnels, just because they don't read the same sort of text. So you're probably looking at this and thinking, hey, WordPress sounds pretty cool because you know it's got so much you can do with it, whereas system seems very sort of one-tracked and sort of basic, but also very simple. 
And to tell you the truth, some of that is true. So let's look at the cons, right? Inside a system, once again, it is an all-in-one marketing platform. What this means is it doesn't really have integrations for different platforms, right? So it wants you to use the system form builder, the funnel builder, the email uh, automation workflow. It does have active campaign integration, but that's probably the only thing there. And then it also just keeps everything under one roof. Now, this is good because it removes areas, complications, and things that could go wrong. Whereas the, probably the negative side to it is if you had something say like Calendly, if you wanted to integrate it with other third party software that you may have, it's hard to actually send data to system. Uh, sending it out is not so much of a problem, but sending data into system is very hard. So if it was your sole email marketing platform and you wanted to integrate multiple other different third party platforms, that's going to be a bit of an issue. Next, there is limited templates. Like I mentioned earlier, nine to 12 templates for the website builder. There's dozens and dozens for funnel builders, only a few for email builders. So it is very limited in terms of what you can do with it. Um, but regardless, it's drag and drop so you can build whatever you need anyway. And then finally, limited customizations. There isn't the most features in the world. There's more than enough for your basic needs though. So if you're trying to get something fancy, you wanna get some sort of crazy animations going. So when you scroll, it does certain pop-up things and all this sort of carry on. That's going to be hard without having a coding knowledge. You can also add things in using code, but of course that's not making it a no code platform. That's turning it into something that you have to develop. So keep those in mind. And now let's look at the flip side. Let's look at the cons of WordPress. And trust me, there are so many. These are just the main ones that I see. So first of all, you have to purchase hosting. Now this can be a small problem and this can also be a big problem. If you're just starting out, you don't have much traffic, you can get an affordable, fast and reliable hosting platform for less than $100 a year. But of course that is still an initial cost. Now the problem is once you start getting, you know, 10,000 people to your blog every month, maybe 100,000, maybe a million, your hosting you, you purchase for cheap is not going to handle it. So you're gonna to have to increase the cost of your hosting, which is going to be another cost on top of your, you know, normal running business. Um, costs right so hosting can be quite expensive it can be up to I think a hundred dollars a month which can actually increase as well so keep that in mind that is an added cost next the themes and plugins once again if you have a simple website then you can probably use system if you want to have something specific then you're probably going to need to buy a theme now, once you've bought your theme, you might want to adapt it, right? As soon as you add things like maybe WooCommerce, you want to add some certain functions to your checkouts. Well, guess what? You've got to probably buy a plugin subscription, which could be another $50 to $100 a year. Maybe you need to have three or four. Maybe you want to have a page builder on top of that. You know, it's, it's interesting how fast your bill with WordPress for yearly usage can actually go up quite quickly. So keep that in mind. Even though WordPress is free for the code, once you start customizing it and getting different types of add-ons, it is going to start increasing the cost per year. Uh, also, you are responsible for upkeep, right? So obviously, your hosting platform is going to do its best to keep your website running with uptime as well as speed and performance and backups and things like that. But at the end of the day, you have to usually update your different types of plugins. If there's a conflict, usually you have to sort it out. Uh, it's a bit of an issue having to have WordPress because so many plugins, so many different themes, they all update at different times, even the WordPress code updates. So you're constantly faced with all these updates. And if you update one, then there might be a conflict with another plugin or another theme, and it just becomes a little bit of admin. So keep that in mind. Once again, system is no code. You don't have to worry about updates or anything. It's its own platform. So something to think about. Same thing goes again, if you are being creative with WordPress, if you are pushing the boundaries of what you can actually do with it, if you're trying to make things nice and custom, you know, one simple change can actually make your website go down and then you gotta figure out how to bring it back up and fix the issue. And it can cost you a lot. In fact, I had a company with a friend a couple of years ago and we decided to build a membership platform from it and we ended up spending over $100,000 in development because we just, we wanted a simple design, then we wanted to modify it slightly and then there was conflicts, then there was updates and then everything just started to sort of snowball in. So it was a very big headache. Whereas with system, you won't get that issue because it's just one platform, one code and the developers sort that out. Then finally, 
I've sort of touched on it before. You have to update themes and plugins. You have to sort out backups and everything like that. So pros and cons for both. You can see WordPress is far more capable and it's also far more of a stress as well. System is a bit of a chilled out platform. You get what you're given. It's not the most in the world. However, it does do the job very well. Once again, if you did need something custom though, WordPress is going to be your go-to. And let's go over a few different things. Now, when I first started, I had my concerns about SEO, right? So system's very basic. It gives you some metadata options, title data options, and a social image. And I thought to myself, how does this platform actually rank? Now, one thing to know is system.io is built using its own technology. So what I actually did was I went on an online SEO tool and checked how it's actually going in terms of SEO and search rankings. And this is what we came with, right? So I think they've been around for quite some time in the French market. They didn't really do much on in terms of content and content marketing with SEO. However, in January, they started, right? And you can see the growth inside of this platform just by adding so much content like they're doing. So you can't really tell me that it's not ranking for different search terms because it's got over 30,000 keywords now. It's growing at an incredible rate. And you can see it's got some pretty good rankings on here. And the way I actually found it was I was doing some research onto the Kartra platform, right? And system popped up. I was, I was pretty impressed considering I thought the page builder and SEO functionalities were quite small, yet look at it, it's ranking number four for the term Kartra. And this is organically, so very, very powerful. I was extremely impressed with it. Um, so you can't really fault SEO with a system. It works perfectly, so you can just scratch that right out. Now let's think about in terms of speed. I went ahead and used my, oh, my standard system domain and did a basic uh, website layout that they provide and did a speed test on it. So we can see here, if I go to the waterfall, uh, and go to the bottom, it's 1.2 seconds to load, 1.1 on load. So it's pretty good, it's actually quite incredibly fast. This page doesn't have too many dynamic elements, it doesn't have any pixels, it doesn't have anything like that. Regardless, it actually loads pretty quick. You can see it's got a rating of 90 to 95 in terms of performance and structure, doesn't have too much blocking, and it's actually really good. You can't fault 1.2 second load. And what I thought is, you know, this is just a basic template that's been installed. There's nothing really interesting on it. So I went ahead and actually checked the system.io website itself. Now, keeping in mind, this is gonna have far more features than a basic website template. We're talking tracking pixels. We're talking other types of pixels. And you can see inside of here as well exactly what they're using. So the server load on this was slightly longer, 1.1 second just for the server load. If you come down, you can also see we've got things like a tracking service that they use. This would be just to see who comes on their software, retargeting, things like that. You can also see it's got a Facebook pixel. It's also using CloudFront as their main CDN, which is probably another thing I should say about WordPress. If you wanna make it even faster, you gotta pay usually for a CDN service. You get it for free with system. But if you look in here, it's it's actually doing incredibly well, right? So if we look at the total time, 2.8 seconds, 2.7 on the onload, it's 2.75 megabytes large. So it's slightly heavy. However, it still goes under the three second recommendation that Google does recommend having. So it is very fast. Once again, this has got a lot of code in the back end and it's still loading in less than three seconds. Now let's compare it to my WordPress website. Keeping in mind, it's got some tracking pixels. It doesn't have too much on it, but you can see the difference if you tweak inside of WordPress, right? So this is my website here. I've got performance 100, structure 100. I've got three milliseconds of blocking time and the entire website gets loaded in a second. So we'll look at the waterfall here. You'll notice it also has a different type of caching element. It's extremely quick. There's not much to load. It's only 300 kilobytes big. One second on load, uh, sorry, one second to load, 806 milliseconds on loading. So this is getting quite technical now, but as you can see, it's, you can, make WordPress extremely quick if you want it to be, right? But the problem with this is you gotta figure out how, and it's not an overnight thing. It actually took a little bit of doing to get this result. So I think coming back to the main thing once again, which one's right for you? 
if I was you right now, if you're someone who just needs to build a website, something simple, something functional, something easy and something cheap to actually run, System.io is your definite go-to, right? You don't have to worry about all these third-party plugins, themes, hosting, CDNs, all these different types of code. You can just build a website. You can connect it to your email marketing service, which is once again in System. You can create funnels, sell courses, host automated webinars, create communities, and more. You can't get a better deal on the internet for what you're actually getting. But if you want to go that one step further, if you want to integrate with other third party platforms, if you want to create something custom, if you want to have something that, you know, is truly yours that you've tweaked and played with, and it's going to pull your hair out probably a lot, but at the end result, you're going to be very proud of, then maybe WordPress is going to be the one for you. Expect to pay, I'd say at least 300 a year for WordPress. By the time you've bought a good theme, you've got a couple of good plugins, you've got some good hosting, and you've got some other bits and pieces. So keep that in mind, but that's what I'd probably recommend. Simple and easy system. If you want to pull your hair out a little bit, but create something incredible, then WordPress is going to be your go-to. So hopefully I didn't make this too long. It is a bit of a technical review. However, that is my system.io versus WordPress comparison. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got some value from it, smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe. I've also got a full system.io course, which is available for purchase. Even if you are a system user, I'll leave a link down in the description for that. But that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.